Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jacoby. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment down below. In today's video, I'm gonna show you what's on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I just got this last week. It is beautiful. The case is from the Apple Store. I will try to find a link, but let's get into the video. Let me actually start my screen recording this time because this is my second time freaking filming this. <laughs> okay, so I'm showing you my home screen now. Just two cows. I found it on Twitter. It has a rainbow on it. It's super cute. All right. So my background, you can't really see it, but it says one day we met. I got it off of um, Pinterest. I just thought it was cute, cool or whatever, something cool for the summertime. Okay, so first let's start in the top corner. I have my calendar app. I love my calendar app because I have absolutely everything in there, color coded, all that stuff. Love the calendar app and it's synced to my iPad, my MacBook, my Apple Watch, all that stuff. So big W. Um, I have the photos app, camera. Now I have a navigation folder. I have Waze. Google Maps and Apple Maps, and I have all three just because, you know, I don't know my vibe for the rip, for the road trip. Waze is sometimes better, Google Maps, you, you know, variation, right? Okay, next I have mail. So I have my Gmail, my iCloud mail, and my Outlook mail. My Outlook mail I just use for, it's like my school email, and then Gmail is like my personal, so yeah. And I rarely use my iCloud email, like literally for anything. Next I have the clock app, weather, wallet, notes, reminders, stocks, now my health folder, one of my personal favorites, is health app and in there that you can track literally anything you want. Like I track like my heart rate, my sleep and my period, stuff like that in there, super cool. Um, I have the Walgreens app, so just so it makes it easier for me to like refill my stuff, less hassle, right? And then I have the Apple Watch app, so that's where you can like change like your um, Apple Watch faces and pictures and stuff like that. And then I have the fitness app, so that's where I like track my steps, my heart rate, all that stuff, fitness, exercise stuff. Um, I have Clue, which is an app where you can track like your period and stuff. So I do that religiously in this app. And you can also track like your mood, how your skin's looking, hair, if it's like dry, oily, etc. Next, I have the We Glow app. And this is just an app, like a workout app that I used to use, but I don't pay for it anymore. All right. Next, I have books, which I don't, I don't use. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I have a lifestyle folder and this is and this has podcast, iTunes store, Apple TV, and the Apple TV remote app. And the Apple TV remote app has saved my life so many times because my app, my actual Apple TV remote, it's like chargeable and I forget to charge it all the time. Like I go months without charging it and then it dies and I'm like, oh, what do I do? So it, you can use your phone to control your Apple TV. So great invention. Next is the home app, which I don't know what that's for. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. Um, I have the settings app, calculator. Now my travel folder, it's my baby. I have all the airlines that I frequent and places I like to stay. So I have United, Delta, Southwest, and I have Airbnb, and I also have Hopper in there. And Hopper is just like a like a price tracker kind of thingy that like you can predict or you can watch like a flight or whatever. And I'll track like the prices so if it will vary at this date or it'll be cheaper on this day to fly out or whatever. Um, you can also do like hotels, rental cars, all that stuff in there. And it just tells you the best time to buy your ticket. And you can also freeze your price at um, a certain price if you don't want to buy right then and there or you like need to transfer money, whatever, blah, blah. That was not an ad, I just actually used it and I think it's cool. Um, next, my music folder, I have Apple Music, which I do not use. I think it's a total scam that we pay like how much for this phone and we don't get free Apple Music? It doesn't make sense. SoundCloud and Spotify. I use Spotify, ride or die for Spotify. Next is the um, extras folder. I have the compass, tips, voice memos, contacts, and buy my iPhone. And then the two other apps, days, since, and day count, I like to track my habits or see how long I can do something without breaking it. So I use day since and day count for those um, tasks I wanna fulfill. Usually I fail, but hey, it's okay. At least I know how long I lasted. Okay, next page. I have Microsoft Teams. I really used that like way, way back when, like 2020, 2021 school year for when like we were sometimes virtually meeting for class. So we used Microsoft Teams, which I really don't use anymore. So I can honestly probably delete that, save some space. Um, next, I have my social folder. So in here I have Google Duo, FaceTime, and Google Meet. Google Meet is like what, Zoom? It's like Google's form of Zoom, I think. And then FaceTime is FaceTime, you know. And then Google Duo is like the Android's form of like FaceTime. Yeah. Next I have the Files app, Translate app, which is important because I am friends with like a lot of international people and sometimes we can't understand each other so I have a translating app. Um, next I have my finance folder. I love money. I love like finances and like investing and stuff like that. So I have the Discover app, SoFi, Chime, Chase, Wells Fargo, Charles Schwab, and Ally. Next folder is my editing folder. So sometimes I do edit my thumbnails on my phone. So I have Adobe um, Photoshop, 
Pixar, Fonto and Adobe Lightroom, and I use Fonto only for my thumbnails. And then sometimes I'll use Procreate, but that's on my um, iPad, so it's not on here. <laughs> Next is my entertainment folder. I have Netflix and ESPN. I used to have ABC when I was like a bachelor stand, but that ship has sailed to be honest. Clayton, I'm looking at you. Um, but yeah, I rarely watch anything on my phone. So I usually save that for my laptop just because I like to look at the bigger screen. All right, next folder I have is Word, iScanner, and Sheets, and Google Docs. And this is my school folder. And iScanner is like an app where you can like take a picture of something and it'll create it into a PDF. But I didn't know that you could do that through notes. So that app is actually kind of useless at this point now. But yeah, I use this, I use this app a lot, um, Google Sheets, because like I track, it's weird. I track a lot of things I do in Google Sheets, like Excel or Google Sheets. It's like my jam. I love those app, um, apps. Okay. Next, I have the travel folder. So sometimes when I'm traveling, like traveling, I need an Uber or a Lyft. So I have Uber and Lyft in this folder, but that's rare to be honest. So just have that just in case. Next folder is my shopping folder. Y'all already know the vibes. So I have Amazon, Urban Outfitters, Sephora, American Eagle and Aerie or slash Aerie, Ulta Beauty, Walmart and Target. So these apps are all really useful, especially when you're shopping in the store, like on Walmart and Target. I love their apps for in-store shopping. Okay, next is messages. I have phone, messages, and group me all in this folder. And please don't come for me for how many notifications I have. I know, I know, I'll get back to you eventually. <laughs> next, I have the European Wax Center app. I went to European Wax Center for the first time, I think maybe a couple months ago. Um, I hated it, I had a really bad experience, but I got a Brazilian wax and I didn't even like how it came out. Like it was just painful. I mean, obviously I know it's painful, but like it was just not the vibe, it wasn't my vibe. So I probably won't be going back there and I'll probably delete that. Next is my social folder, which I spend a lot of time on. So we have Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jacoby.sims. I am really, really active on TikTok, so I would follow me on there. But yeah, I use those apps on me all the time, of course. Next, I have a games app. And I really don't play games on my phone, to be honest. Like, I really just don't. I'm not saying they're like, oh, I'm better than anyone. No, I'm not better than anyone. It's just like, I really just don't play games that much. So I have Crossword Jam if I'm really, really bored and I want to, like, stimulate my brain. Um, and then I have Duolingo because I'm trying to learn Spanish. But I'm, like, really, really bad at Duolingo because, like, I, my, my memory sucks. Next, I have another finance folder. And this is for when I'm trying to send or receive money. So I have Venmo, Cash App, Zelle. And then Robinhood is, like, an investing app. I don't use that anymore. And then I have Truebill, which is that it's just an app that tracks all my transactions, the money that comes in or out of my bank accounts, and they're all connected to one little account on Truebill. So, yeah. Next, I have a headphones app, and this connects to my Sony headphones. I love my Sony headphones so much. They're like noise canceling. They're amazing, and they come with their own app, and you can do like different little adjustments on there for the sound. It's so cool. Next, I have a utilities folder. This is just for my electric and. Um, Internet bill, yeah, uh, so I just have that in a folder by itself. Next I have photo and video, so I have a Canon printer in the next room and I can just print off anything off my phone and print it. So I have that app and then I have the Canon app for like, you can connect your Canon camera to this app and like send pictures back and forth and stuff like that. Next is my food folder, y'all. I use this also a lot, I use that, I use this this morning actually. So I have Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, Starbucks, Dunkin', Tropical Smoothie, Moe's, and Firehouse Subs. I mean, who doesn't have a love a good food reward system? Next I have my delivery services. So I have Uber Eats and DoorDash, but I rarely do that anymore because it it's, it's it's like so expensive. I'm stuttering so bad. I have this coffee, you guys, and I'm like jacked. Okay, next I have Canvas, if you know, you know, if you're a student. Um, so my school uses Canvas and that's where I turn in all my assignments, um, upload stuff, um, get my grades, all that stuff. Um, next I have my make money folder. So these are like all my side hustles that I do. So I have YouTube studio cause I'm monetized on my main channel. I have sitter tree, which is when I want to babysit to make some extra cash. Um, I have Dasher, which is the DoorDash employee app. And then I have Uber driver if I want to do Uber Eats and I have Google rewards, which is you can take like rewards for like little chunks of change and you can make money that way. Next, I have my grocery folder. So in here I have Ibotta and Basket. Basket is just an app where you can um, compare grocery prices from your local grocery stores. And then Ibotta is like a cashback kind of system and you can upload your receipts and they'll give you cashback for certain items or whatever. Next, I have a shopping folder again, and these are for like more of like my like 
hype like Instagram baddie ish stores. So I have Misguided, Shein, Pretty Little Thing, Poshmark, and Goat. So those are all in one folder by themselves. I really don't use them that much, but they're there. Last page, I have Subway Surf. Now that is the one game I will play on my phone like all the time if I'm really, really bored. Like if I'm in the airport, I'm on, I'm on the plane, I'll play Subway Surfer. Next, I have YouTube TV. That's if I need to watch something live or I'm air playing something on my TV, I'll use that. I have Rella, which is Natalie Barbu's app. Um, it's basically like for content creators and like planning out your content, stuff like that. Social Ladder, which I do not know what I use for to be so real with you. Um, next is ESPN Tournament Challenge. It's March Madness right now, of course, and my bracket's shot, so honestly, I don't even open the freaking app anymore because I cannot stand to look at it. Next, I have a random folder of stuff that just came downloaded with my new phone. Um, Apple Store, Numbers, iMovie, Keynote, GarageBand, Pages, and Clips. Next, I have 365 Gratitude. I absolutely love this app. It's my gratitude journal, and I do it every night, and they give you like affirmations. The prompts are really good and helpful. They give you some background information. There's a bunch of sources in there. Um, you also have to list out like ama three amazing things that happened throughout your day, so it's really helpful. And lastly, I have all my dating apps. You know the vibe. So I have Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge. So yeah. Oh, and then I forgot, on like the bottom, like, I don't know what that's called. Like on the bottom, I have Safari and the Bible on the bottom of my screen. But okay guys, that's it. That's what's on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I really hope you guys liked it. Please let me know what you want to see from me on this channel. I love you guys so much. Thanks for the support and I'll see y'all in my next vlog. Bye.